Philosophy Gamer, welcome back to the channel. Today I am reviewing Red Dead Redemption 2 for the PlayStation 4. Red Dead 2 is an action adventure game developed by Rockstar Games. The game is set before the events of the original Red Dead, so this is a prequel. You play as Arthur Morgan, who is part of the Vandalind gang. Long story short, it's the final days of the Wild West and the government are cracking down on the last remaining gangs. So you're basically on the run and trying to survive while the government is tightening its grip around you and all the other kind of riffraff. After the prologue, which is quite lengthy, you find yourself in a beautiful and vast open world where you can pretty much do as you please. The story develops at whatever pace you wish, so you're not constantly forced down a narrow corridor of gameplay once you get past the prologue. You can choose to ignore the main story altogether and just go off and be a nomad in the world. But that would be a mistake as the story is one of the best and most in-depth I've ever experienced in any game. This is a huge game, both in terms of the environment, but also the amount of things you can get up to. You can play poker, you can rob trains, you can have brawls in saloons, you can get drunk, you can become a gun collector, you can even become a fashionista. You can become a hunter and you can search the map for rare creatures and use the materials from those creatures to create special items. You can explore the far reaches of the map and uncover weird and wonderful secrets like witches, the paranormal and even the KKK. It really is impossible for me to tell you everything that there is on offer. It's better you explore it yourself and find it because there honestly is so much here it could take you an entire lifetime to find everything. So everyone's experience who plays this game will be a little bit different as we'll all find our own unique Red Dead 2 based on what we do and where we go. The combat is good, the guns all feel different and you'll be using them a lot to fend off wild animals and hostile gangs. The melee combat is very strong and it's really good fun as well. Your character does need to eat and consume things to retain your dead eye, which is your bullet time slow motion skill. You also need to sleep to stay sharp, because if you don't eat or you don't sleep in this game, everything will become harder and your core energy will drop. So you do need to sleep, you need to eat, you need to keep stocked up, and then you'll be in a better shape when you take on a group of enemies. You can customize your character with different hairstyles and facial hair combinations. Your hair does grow over time, which is a really nice touch and it really adds some realism and it kind of shows you the process of time passing in the game. The graphics in this game are quite unbelievable. When the game starts, you almost have to do a double take because everything looks so realistic. The lighting in particular is incredible and the character models, the facial animations and everything else, it all just looks amazing. It's the most visually stunning game I've ever played. The dynamic day-night cycle is spectacular and the whole game, it just looks amazing. Like the whole game world, the detail is incredible. So graphically, it's 10 out of 10 for graphics. Absolute, no question. There is a camera mode in Red Dead. However, it's more in keeping with the traditional photography of the era. You can't pause time. You can't move the camera around as if it's on a drone. You have a camera and a tripod and everything is in real time. So it's like having a real life camera. The PC version does have a photo mode now, but for PS4 players, this is all we've got at the moment. It's probably only good for hardcore photographers because most people are not gonna have the patience or the technique in order to capture a real life photograph in a game. But you know, if you persevere and you kind of just take your time, you will be able to get excellent shots. I actually did a photography tutorial series for the camera mode for the PlayStation 4. If you're interested, the link will be in the description, so check that out. So sound, music and voice. The sound quality in Red Dead 2 is perfect. The voice actors all suit the roles. The tactile sound effects and ambience is amazing. The musical score is terrific. The songs, the ambient songs, the kind of the music, everything, everything they've chosen really worked. The sound effects and how they change as well, depending on the distance you are away from things, really, really helps you immerse into the truly believable world. Okay, so what's good and what's bad about Red Dead 2? What's good? The game has an amazing story full of rich characters with lots of depth. The graphics are incredible and it really sets the standard for future games. The voice acting is perfect. 
The game world feels alive and it's been lovingly created to the absolute smallest detail. The music is possibly the best score I've ever heard in a game. The game just has so much detail, so much depth and so many side quests and activities you could just lose yourself for hundreds of hours in this game quite easily. The customization options are great, the gunplay is good and the hand-to-hand -hand combat feels right. What's bad? The story is perhaps a little too long. There is a part in the game where you go to an island and it doesn't really fit. It feels more like an uncharted game. It's not a massive thing, but it just feels a bit of a weird inclusion, like they were just shoehorned it in. The game can be quite long and drawn out with the plot and also the physical acts like picking up one object at a time and the very long horse rides from one place to the other, that can get tedious. You can fast travel but it's only one direction, the other direction you've got to, got to ride back or you can get trains, you can get carriages but it, it can be a bit drawn out. But saying that, all of those things, are, they are deliberate choices by Rockstar to make you feel like you're living in that era. Because in those days, things did take a long time. You couldn't just, you know, get there quickly or use the internet. So, what's the verdict? Red Dead 2 is a fantastic game in almost every way. It's a richly detailed and superbly made game that really raises the bar for the games industry. My score for Red Dead Redemption 2 is 9.5 out of 10. It's about as close to a 10 out of 10 as I could get. A couple of minor things stopped it getting a 10, but it's, it's probably the best game I've played on the PlayStation 4. It's a fantastic game with an incredible amount of depth and detail. It's probably the best game of this generation, so you should just go and buy it, play it, and experience this game because it's fantastic. So that was the review for Red Dead 2. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you need a photo tutorial for the camera mode, check out the uh, playlist in the description. Thanks for watching. This is Photography Gamer, signing off. Thank you.